Yo, what is going on y'all? Welcome back to the next part of our Shopify tutorial. And in this tutorial, we will be going over our checkout tab within our settings. So of course, before we get started, be sure to hit the subscribe button to my channel to be notified whenever I post new videos. After that, be sure to join our Facebook group, Sublimation Cove. When you come in the group, we talk about sublimation. And last but not least, we are the owners of Cosmos Inc. So if you need any type of sublimation ink for your business, be sure to hit that link down below as well. And we'll get it sent out to you ASAP. So now that we are still inside the settings tab, we want to come right here to checkout. We'll select that. And we'll go over each and every option that is offered on here. So for customer accounts, you want to choose if you uh, choose if you want to prompt your customer to create an account when they check out. So for this one, honestly, since we're doing custom printing, um, you can do accounts are optional. And that's a good medium because it doesn't force anybody to make an account. But at the same time, it offers that to them. And the last thing we want to do is steer them away because they are forced to create an account. However, if they are forced to create an account, that's good since we are doing custom orders and they're required to sign in in order to, you know, see the order that they placed. So you can honestly select either one, whether accounts are optional or accounts are required, but accounts are disabled. I will never leave that checked. So for a good medium for us, we're going to keep on here. Accounts are optional. Next up is customer contact. Choose which contact method your customers can use to check out and receive updates. So for this, uh, we're going to leave the top one check where it says customers can check. out. Actually, no, we are not. We are going to change this to the bottom one where it says customers can only check out using their email address. So with that, you definitely want to have a paper trail. All right. And the best paper trail that's out there is going to be email address and not, you know, text message or anything like that, because anybody can delete text message and lose it. Um, but on your back end, you know, email. All right. <laughs> After that, uh, to receive shipping updates, customers can choose to add phone numbers or email to receive shipping updates after they complete their order. Yes, check that box because we live in a mobile world. Majority of people are doing um, business and looking at stuff and ordering things off of their mobile devices. A good like 80 or like 85 percent are working off of their phones. And then after that, it's going to be computers. Then after that, it's going to be, you know, some other device. All right. So just make sure you have that checked. After that, we're going to come down to form options and it says choose whether your checkout forms require extra information from your customer. So for full name, um, require last name only. Nope. We're going to select this one where it says require first name and last name for the company name. We're going to hit optional because not everybody is going to have a company name um, when placing an order with you. After that, uh, address line two, of course, we're going to have that optional because not everybody stays in an apartment or have a P.O. box or, you know, vice versa. So we definitely want to leave that option open. Shipping address phone number. So for this, you can hide it, but honestly, I will leave this uh, optional as well. And I believe this is what adds a phone number onto the shipping label when you print it out. So let's say a package gets lost or it gets uh, not stolen because they're not going to call you. It, the thief is not going to call you uh, possibly. <laughs> but uh, let's say it get delivered to the wrong address or just whatever. And uh, they need to be able to contact you pretty much, you know, immediately to get it, you know, to you. So you can definitely put optional uh, right there and it'll have the phone number listed on the shipping label. All right. Um, tipping. And this is a newer feature. They didn't have this back when I very first started my Shopify store. I ended up adding this later on. So you can click to show a tipping option uh, at checkout. Uh, show, show tipping options to all customers. And then you can determine which three options as far as the percentage of your order that you want uh, to offer, you know, well, that you want your customers to pay you, you know, as a tip. So you can do 5, 10, 15, you can do 10, 20, 30, you can do 5, 15, 20, however you want to break it down, you can do that right here. 
So next up after that is going to be order processing. It says change how your store responds to checkout and order events. So the first one is while the customer is checking out, use the shipping address as the billing address by default. Yes, I will leave that checked. Uh, enable enable address auto completion. Yes, leave that checked. You will be surprised how many people enter in their address wrong or they think they've been entering it, entering it in right their entire life, but that's not what is listed at the post office or you know anything. So I highly recommend leaving this checked. It says uh, after an order has been placed, automatically fulfill the order's line items, automatically fulfill only the gift cards to the order, do not automatically fulfill any of the order's line items. Leave that checked, leave it the way it is. After order has been fulfilled and paid, automatically archive the order. Yep, leave that checked as well because you fulfilled the order and you know they well they paid first and then the order was fulfilled. So after that, it should be archived. Additional scripts, don't worry about this section at all. You can just leave that blank for now. Uh email marketing. So let customers sign up for marketing emails at checkout. You can click uh, show a sign up option at the at checkout and then you can hit pre select the sign up option. Personally, I recommend uh, you checking this box as well. So that way, you know, people sign up for it, but like you really have to pay attention to going there and like uncheck it while doing it. But you definitely want to build up your email marketing list. And if you can already have it pre selected and they just keep going, you know, they just keep going. So that way you can be able to reach out to them through, you know, your marketing efforts. After that, uh, abandon checkout, send an email to customers who left products in their cart but didn't complete their order. Yes, a lot of money, a lot of money, a lot of orders can come in through the abandoned checkouts. The average uh, amount of people who um, come back and purchase their order through abandoned checkouts, I think the national average right now on Shopify is around 7%. So if you can get like 7%, you know, 3%, you know, 2%, 10%, that's better than 0%. All right. So definitely leave this checked and you can send it to any, anyone who abandons a checkout card, uh, email subscribers who abandon checkout. I wouldn't even check that one. I would just leave it right here at this one and send it after 10 hours. Um, that's what's recommended and that's honestly what been working for me on my other website. So I just leave it set at 10 hours. So once you have all of that done on this page, you can come up here and click save right here in the upper right hand corner or down here in the lower right hand corner. And there you go. Setting saved. So from here, we will click this back button right here and we are back to the home page of our settings tab all right so that pretty much wraps up this tutorial i will see you all in the very next one and please don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below to subscribe to our channel after that be sure to join our facebook group sublimation cove where we cover sublimation and last but not least we are the owners of cosmos inc so if you need any type of sublimation ink supplies for your business hit that link down below as well and we'll get it sent out to you asap all right so that is it. I will see you all in the very next video. Angelo out.